Hey everyone, I've got another food hack for you. Uh, late one night some friends and I were talking about what to do with compressed gases in food and Chris Egerton had a great idea of adding nitrous oxide to avocados. Uh, the reason that avocados are interesting is because they're fatty and so nitrous oxide is soluble in fatty foods and avocados are uh, one of the only fatty fruits out there so we thought we'd give it a try. So I loaded some avocado slices into this chamber and loaded it up with two nitrous cartridges as usual. So let's open it up and uh, see what we've got. But first I'll just let the gas out. Oh boy. If only you could smell what, <laughs> what I'm smelling right now. <laughs> And the avocado slices are fizzing. Oh yes. So let's uh, dump them out into the vacuum chamber here. That's all of them. And the purpose, you know, we're going to try to pull a little bit of a vacuum and see if the slices will puff up a little bit. Because that's kind of, I mean, that's, that's the whole fun of doing this, right? Not a whole lot of puffing up going on there. Um, judging from the vacuum pump sound, it's probably gotten most of the air out. I mean, it's, you know, probably 95% of the air is gone or something. You can kind of see a little bit of bubbling going on, but not terribly exciting. Let's, uh, let, let's take one out and see what it's like. Oh, did you see that? So they actually did puff up a fair bit when I let the, uh, atmosphere back in they they really did shrink down so I guess they were puffing up a lot more slowly than I than I could see hmm it's uh, still fairly normal feeling I, I don't really see a whole lot of um, of air bubbles or anything in the in the middle there Maybe another closer look there it is So as you can see, it's still um, fairly normal. I, I don't really. I'm gonna eat one and see what see what it tastes like. Unfortunately, it's basically a normal avocado. I don't really. Uh, you know, the the texture is is you know, about the about what you'd expect from an avocado. Maybe slightly lighter, but not really. I was somewhat expecting the avocado to to really lose its uh, f f firmness really completely, and I would end up almost like with a cream. So I made a tomato slice with a piece of bacon on it and I was expecting to put the avocado cream on top. But a few of you know what's coming. I'm going to introduce an entirely new food experiment. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to take a couple weeks, but uh, it's going to be worth it. Trust me. Okay, stay tuned and I will see you next time. Bye.